Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeremiah Hersey here. Welcome back to the next PL300 test prep question. Today we're going to be looking at another question relating to security roles inside the Power BI service. In the last video, we looked at some of the differences of the capabilities between an admin, a member, a contributor, and a viewer. And just so you know, as a best practice, when you're assigning these roles inside the Power BI service, you want to make sure that you're giving the least amount of privilege available because you don't want everyone to have the capability to change things with inside of your workspace or your app. And so we're going to look at the capabilities between the different roles here today and specifically focusing on the one related to the question today. Let's go ahead and get started. So as we look at the different roles, once again, those being the admin, the member, the contributor and the viewer role with inside of the Power BI service. The main difference between an admin and a member are these three here at the top. So updating and deleting a workspace, adding or removing any user in the workspace and allowing contributors to update an app for the workspace. So these are the main differences between an admin and a member. And so as we look at the ability here highlighted in blue to add members or others with lower permission that falls specifically for admins and members notice that the contributor role does not have that ability to add members with inside of the workspace and so as we're focusing on this question today it's important to understand that only admin and members can add other members with inside of a workspace so let's go ahead and take a look at the test prep question. The question says you need to provide a user with the ability to add members to a workspace. The solution must use the principle of least privilege. Which role should you assign? And so as we talked about here, we need to add a member to the workspace. And the idea that we want to use the principle of least privilege. So that's what I was talking about as you're adding users into this workspace, you want to give them a role that is appropriate for what they're going to be doing with inside of the workspace. So if someone is just going to be viewing the information or the data with inside of a workspace, you wouldn't want to give them any other role other than the viewer role. And so as we think about which roles can add members to a workspace. And so as we saw, the two roles are the admin, and the member. So the admin and the member roles have the ability to add members to a workspace. But as we think about the principle of least privilege, which one of these is going to be the lower privilege that still allows us to accomplish the task that we want? That is going to be the member role or option D. Pretty straightforward question. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.